Hello everyone, in this video, let us uh, take a look at the Jira Core project interface. In the previous video, we spent some time uh, understanding how we can uh, create or set up a new Jira Core Cloud instance. And we also created a new project and we spent some time uh, looking at uh, how to create issues in uh, Jira Core on cloud. So in this video, let us uh, continue further and uh, let us also spend some time uh, getting familiar with uh, the interface of uh, a typical Jira Core project on the cloud. So whenever you create a new project, you will probably be presented with this board. And uh, as we discussed last time, this board is uh, nothing but a visual representation of uh, what all you have in your project. It will show you the issues that are in to do that are probably new that you still need to do uh, and take some action. It will it will also show you this column called as in progress. And it will also show you this column which is done. And of course, you can create a new issue and you can then uh, proceed further, you can uh, then of course, work on it, you can assign the issues to maybe your team members, then when you when you assign these issues to a team member, those team members or those uh, people who are supposed to work on those issues, they can ask you questions by adding a comment. So that is something really good. But uh, let us proceed further with uh, some other aspects of uh, a typical Jira core project. Now, in any Jira project, especially on cloud, there is a concept of this uh, project sidebar. And this project sidebar will uh, show you some links, uh, some important links that uh, you should be aware of. And of course, we are talking about uh, Jira user. So we are not really talking about Jira administration. We are just focused right now on understanding how to work on Jira as an user. So the first, the very first option is called as summary. And as the name suggests, it will give you some summary of uh, whatever is happening in your project right now. So you have on top two tabs. One is activity that will show you all the things that are happening in the project, like uh, any update that you're doing. Maybe people are adding comments. Maybe people are working on the issues. So you will see all those updates that are happening in the project. It is more or less like uh, an activity stream. And you can also do some customizations here. Uh, not here, but uh, on the dashboard, the, you have a similar activity stream, but uh, you can also generate a feed, an RSS feed that you can probably use uh, somewhere else if you want. So this feed is nothing but uh, a feed of uh, all these updates. And you have you have this XML format that you can uh, use maybe in a different tool. Uh, for any reason, if you want to probably subscribe to this feed uh, on your bookmark within your Chrome or maybe Firefox browser, you can also do that. Apart from that, on the right hand side, you have the information about the project lead. So right now the project lead is me, Ravi Sagar. Uh, you can also take a look at uh, uh, the project key. So the project key is uh, a unique key. And in Jira, each and every project will have a name. And it will also have uh, this key. So this key is uh, is important because uh, all the issues that you create in Jira, they will be suffixed with this, uh, or rather they will have this key as a prefix followed by a number like demo hyphen one, demo hyphen two and three and so on. So this is uh, important because uh, this key is unique for your project. Then it will also give you this nice uh, breakup of all the issues per status. And uh, you can see here right now that we have uh, uh, five issues in to do, we have uh, one issue in progress, and we have one issue which is uh, done. And uh, I'm using this word issue, because everything in Jira is an issue. Now further, you can create issue types that will of course uh, discuss later on. But uh, issue is like a generic name for a task or 
any kind of activity that you want to track in your Jira instance. Then you also have uh, this uh, uh, section here where you, where you can take a look at uh, uh, the priority. So let us say if you have five issues in your Jira instance, or not in your Jira instance, but in your project, and those five issues or 500 issues, they have different priorities. So it will give you a breakup per priority, which is quite good. And you also have the option to switch this uh, small gadget to something else. Maybe you want to switch it uh, to maybe a signee. So you can have this nice uh, breakup either by a signee or uh, by priority. So apart from this activity tab, you also have a statistics tab where you can uh, simply take a look at a very useful, nice uh, statistics that are uh, of course coming from the information that you have in your project. So basically you have this nice breakup by priority. So let us say if you have five issues in your instance, so uh, just like your activity tab gadget on the right hand side where you have that priority section. Uh, you have the same gadget here under your statistics. Uh, so once you have more issues in your Jira project, you will have more priorities listed here along with the count. And of course, uh, their individual uh, 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 breakup. Uh, and of course, it will also tell you the percentage. Now you also have this uh, similar statistics based on uh, the status, uh, based on the assignee and the component as well. So we'll discuss components later but I can probably tell you very briefly so component is nothing but uh, a way to uh, break up your project into smaller modules uh, and it is a way to categorize your uh, issues or the information that you have uh, into different uh, smaller parts or subsections in your projects for example if you're talking about uh, uh, legal project or maybe if you're talking about uh, HR project or maybe you just want to keep track of track of some activities that you do in your department. So maybe you can create components uh, based on the type of work that you're doing. Maybe uh, let us say if you're talking about HR activities, so you can have components like uh, onboarding uh, or maybe something like uh, uh, offboarding. Maybe you can have uh, uh, processes for issuing new hardware or maybe keeping track of your logistics. So there are different ways of using component. We'll of course worry about it later on. You also have this concept of issue type, which is uh, again, we'll discuss later on. But right now in, in our project, I believe uh, uh, we don't have a lot of a uh, lot of different types of issues. But uh, when we create more issue types, we can always create more issue types and you, you can have uh, uh, this gadget that will display you a uh, breakup of issues per issue type. And uh, uh, you also have these links on top. For example, if you click on these links, let us say we have uh, we have to just find out all the issues in our project. So you can click on this link called All Issues, and it will take you to a separate section, and uh, it will display you all the issues in that particular project only. And this interface is uh, called as an issue navigator. So issue navigator in Jira is a place where you will search for issues and we'll of course come back to this uh, issue navigator and we'll spend some time on this interface. But just to give you a very quick uh, idea about how it works. So on top you have different uh, options to choose from. For example, you can filter this uh, list by either project or maybe by type of issues or maybe by status or maybe you want to also filter the list based on the assignee and so on. So we'll come back to this and we'll uh, create a separate video on the searching part. But let us uh, take a look at the statistics uh, tab again. So you have similar links like uh, uh, if you click on, uh, click on these links, it will take you back to the same page where we just came from the issue navigator. And it will give you the list of uh, issues based on uh, these criteria that you have uh, uh, listed here already. Uh, it is not you that uh, that you are basically uh, defined. You have not really defined these links. These links are there for you, but these are like ready-made filters, uh, just to give you a simple explanation. Uh, we have links like assigned to me, reported by me, unscheduled, outstanding, and so on. Uh, let us take a look at the second uh, option, second link in the project sidebar, which is a board. 
and we all know what board is because we spent some time in the previous video looking at it then you have uh, this third link called as uh, issues and filters and these issues and filters will show you something similar to what you saw earlier for example uh, if you click on my open issues it will it will basically give you this list of issues in this project uh, and of course it is based on uh, the filter that you specify here like if you click on my open issues it will show you all the issues that are assigned to you and are open and when, it, when you say open it means that they are not really resolved or closed uh, similarly you have reported by me all issues in this project open issues in this project and uh, so on then you have uh, open and assi unassigned issues due due this week so in jira there is a field called as due date and if you have this due date filled in so let's say if you populate this field um, and if you probably uh, go back to this filter it will show you those issues that are actually due uh, this week and uh, this is really uh, useful because you can uh, uh, also do further things like uh, you can uh, schedule uh, to, s to some some kind of emails that will be sent to you just to remind you that these are the issues that are due, due this week and uh, these issues are still not resolved um, so let us go back to the sidebar we also have uh, an option to take a look at reports and we'll probably create a separate video uh, maybe we'll take a look at the reports in the next video but uh, uh, the reporting section within this project will have a lot of gadgets ready-made gadgets that you can configure and then uh, and of course you can take a look at those reports within your project and most of these reports are either uh, there for you within a project or you can have these reports for you coming from maybe multiple projects and you can basically create your own dashboard and uh, display these uh, gadgets similar gadgets that you have right now like uh, graphical information like bar chart line graphs pie charts and stacked bar charts on your dashboard showing you information about uh, what you need to do and that information can come from one or multiple projects or it can be a subset of projects but within these within within this project these reports will show you the information uh, some kind of analytical information rela related to this project only and uh, this is like a project specific uh, set of reports so we'll create uh, a separate video hopefully in the next video we'll take a look at the reports and uh, we'll continue looking at uh, jira cloud uh, right now we are looking at jira cloud from users perspective but uh, uh, we'll also move on to the administration of uh, Jira. We'll take a look at how we can customize Jira, how we can uh, uh, make it work for uh, us based on the requirements uh, that we want to map in the tool. So I hope I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this uh, video. Thank you very much.